Food's gonna get cold. Come pick it up. I'm gonna leave soon. Come get your food. Oh my god. right that property that Chandler Woods was taken from was a vacation rental home just like all the others huh. so that's the seventh one all food delivery drivers all doing prepaid orders with uh, bogus phone numbers and anonymous emails yes and all the emails haven't given us anything yet the IP addresses all trace back to different VPN providers, and we have nothing yet back on those warrants. But I wouldn't expect much. All those services are based overseas, and that could take weeks, if ever. This girl doesn't have weeks. She's already been gone a week, and now with this other kid getting taken yesterday, that gives her what, maybe 24 hours until she turns up dead? I'm well aware of the pattern. Well, then how about you act like it? I mean, how about some urgency here? Where are you going? To go light a fire under Ashley's ass. See if maybe he's got something for us? Yeah, that'll get here. Victims are all so different. I mean, we got a six foot tall black guy. Then we got a short Korean woman. And Emma, I mean, she's a, she's a little blonde girl. I mean, they're all over the place. I didn't think serial killers did that kind of crap. They don't typically. Well then, what the hell's the matter with this freak? I would prefer for you to refer to them as an unsub. We don't know if that person is a he. What do you mean we don't know if it's a he? I mean, this last kid was six fucking feet tall. Surely you don't think some girl took him. I don't like groundless speculation. The toxicology reports came back and show trace amounts of acepromazine in their system. So what the hell is that? It's horse tranquilizer. But what's strange is that the amounts are so minimal that it must mean that they were injected days before their death. Well, I mean, that makes sense. He wants to torture him, right? I mean, he wants him awake for that. Basically, the unsub is drugging them, which means it could be male or female. But that means... What? The bite marks. They're all different. But we haven't gotten the DNA results back, so we have no idea. Uh, fake teeth? Maybe.
That was Ashley. He's on his way over. He's got something for us. Hello? What? Did you hear me? Yes, I did. Oh, my God. You know, I don't get you sometimes, Barton. How so? This kid, she's got like maybe 12 hours left to live. And here, I, I don't know what, looking at your damn paperwork. At least I'm not pulling my hair out and I'm acting professional. You know, you could at least maybe act like you give a damn. And how is that going to help Emma Becker and Chandler Woods? DNA profile we took from the last victim. And you have a match? Yeah. Are you sure of this? Are you sure about what? I mean, this is Emma Becker. How the hell did her DNA get all over Sun Young? It gets worse. Look at the other side. Sun's DNA was pulled off of Michael. Michael's DNA was found on Sarah. Sarah's was found on Tay. And Tay's DNA was on Alyssa. Exactly. And it isn't just incidental. It was found in the bite marks and under the fingernails. So you're, you're saying that each victim killed the victim before them? I don't know. Please don't hurt me! No! Wait, wait, wait! Stop! Ah! These people have no connection to each other. I mean, other than being delivery drivers? Yes, it's definitely strange. So then how does Sun Young, okay, five foot one, 105 pounds, how does she kidnap, torture, and murder Michael, who's six foot two, 200 pounds? We don't know if that's the case. How do we know that the killer isn't taking them and making them do his, his work? So this, this, this freak, this unsub, He's taking his victim, and he's making them do the torturing and the killing on the last person he took so that he can keep his DNA out of him. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, my God. You know, this is getting us nowhere, all right? Emma has, like, five hours left before she ends up dead like the next one. We need to be focusing on finding her. Okay, so what's the address? Okay. Okay, thank you. I've got something. That APB I put out on suspicious activity around vacation rental properties? Yeah. Well, dispatch, just got a call from this guy over on Pembroke Lane. Apparently, he saw some guy going into his neighbor's rental property, but he knows it's supposed to be empty. How would he know that? Because it's under renovation. And that property, it's right over here. Sounds good. We'll get a warrant and we'll head right over there. Warrant? We don't have time to get a damn warrant. I mean, this girl could be dying. Lockhart. What? I know that you have been a cop a lot longer than me. But I have been a detective for longer than you. If we don't do this right, then he's gonna walk. If we do this your way, he's gonna walk. Look, you're right, okay? You're right. And I know you're a better detective than I am, I, than I'll ever be, all right? 
20 years as a patrol cop, you know, I'm probably not really well suited for this job. But what's getting me, what's eating me alive, is these kids, okay? They've all been tortured and mutilated. And Emma, she could still be alive. And we gotta try to save her. Fine. But we're going to talk to the neighbor first. What are you stopping here for? It's the next one down. We're going to talk to the neighbor first and figure out what. Come on, fuck that, Barton. We already went over this. I know this. Lockhart. Do you want to let this guy go? No! I want to save Emma! I want to save her too, but that doesn't mean me being reckless is going to help anything. We're going to talk to him first and see what he's got. Okay. Tell you what. You go talk to the neighbor. I'm going to go check out the house and see if I can see anything. Lockhart! Don't go into that house until I get there. Come on, help. I found, found Emma, and uh, this guy jumped me. You're lying. Look, detective, I, I, don't, I don't know what you think you saw here. I just saw you smell Emma and crack his neck. Huh. Look, detective, really, this is all misunderstanding. Detective? You never call me detective. What's my name? <laughs> you know, um, if I had more time, I could, I could pull that name out of this little peon brain here, but obviously I'm out of time. What? You're not Lockhart, are you? No. Who are you? What are you? There isn't really a name for what we are. Although I, I suppose the uh, Navajo called us skinwalkers. Skinwalkers? Those are myth. No, 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 not that, not myth. Not myth. We're we're quite real. We? There are more of you. <laughs> I assume so. I mean, you know, we're not exactly social creatures. We're more solitary feeders. To feed. Yeah, feed. We uh, we feed off of your your 
fear and your pain. You know, just a handful of you is enough to feed me for a decade or more. Though I, <laughs> I admit, this time I overdid a little bit. Gotten a little gluttonous. Oh well, live and learn. Next time I'll just- Next time? There's not gonna be a next time. On the ground. Hands behind your head. Detective, what, what is it that you think you have here? All right, I mean, this guy killed this girl, and this detective killed him. What exactly is it that you think you're gonna tell people? And even if you did tell them, what the hell would they believe? They're gonna believe nothing. They're gonna believe that I'm a hero who tried to save this young girl, and there's nothing you're gonna do that's gonna change it. This is Detective Barton. I have an officer down and two homicides. I need backup and a paramedic at Pembroke Lane, 53291. Yes. Yes. It's Lockhart. Detective Lockhart, yes. <laughs>